Welcome. Can you come in a little bit closer so we can all be in one group and talk easily together? Well, it's so nice to see you. And uh, I bet some of you are getting ready to go back to school. You've got your school supplies ready. Maybe you had a visit to your classroom. Yeah, are you excited for school? Mm, <laughs> mixed emotions. <laughs> I get that. I certainly do. Uh, does anyone know what this is? It's a yarn ball. Yeah, what could you do with a yarn ball? You could make something. You could make clothes. Yeah. Have you ever seen these? You could make a blanket. You're way ahead of me. Yeah. Well, look at this. They use these needles. And I am the worst person to describe this. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. but So they use these hooks, and they can use needles. And they weave together this, these, this yarn. I don't know if weave is the right word, but they make things out of it like shawls and blankets. We have a person that we're going to read about today. Her name was Tabitha, and she knew how to make clothing. And there were people in her community that were sad and lonely, and they also they didn't have very much money. And what Tabitha did was she sewed them some clothes, and she gave it to them. And it made them so happy, and it made them feel special that somebody thought of them. And in fact, that kindness helped them to feel like God loved them, too. And we have a very special group here in our church, and they make some things that help other people feel um, cared for and loved, and so that they know that people pray for them. And they make these... We call them shawls. They look like a little blanket. And you could put them around your shoulders uh, to keep you warm and comfortable. Um, and the really cool thing about it is they are making these, they are saying prayers. They might not know who's going to get this blanket someday or this shawl, but they are praying that that person is going to be just wrapped up in God's love and get the comfort and the strength that they need to go through whatever it is they might be going through. Well, I have an invitation for you and your families. If you, after the service, would like to take one of these shawls, and if you happen to know somebody who might be going through a tough time, you could bring this shawl to them. And there is a brochure that goes with it that tells them all about how this came to be. And there's a little a note and there's a cross attached to this. And many people who have received these, I know quite a few, they say that it made them feel uh, so loved to have a shawl that came from people who cared enough to think about them and to pray for them. Do you guys have anyone in your mind? You don't have to say it out loud, but can you think of someone who could use a little boost and maybe you don't, and that's okay, but if you do, I'm going to invite you to take one per family, and as a, as a family, maybe that could be a service project that you do together, to bring some kindness and love to somebody who's going through a tough time. Do you think you'd like to do that? That would be so nice of you to do. Can you say a prayer with me? All right, let's all pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for Tabitha's example to give kind gifts that show people your love. Bless all who receive our prayer shawls. Amen. All right, and don't forget, if you, your family would like to take one of these, they're right up here, and Pastor Byron will help you with that. Thanks for coming up. Please stand. <laughs> 